All right, a good Saturday to you. Thanks for logging on and finding us here with Fox 26. Time for that in-depth tropical update. Just a reminder, we're here every day of hurricane season, a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time, giving you the latest on what's happening. Sometimes there's a lot to talk about. That's really what we did this past week quite a bit as we were tracking a potential tropical system. Never actually got itself together and became a tropical system, but we were talking about it. We were following it. We were giving you all the different scenarios, and it definitely did end up being a rainmaker for our Gulf Coast states, which is kind of what we knew it would be, whether or not it was tropical or not. It's just that if it would have tracked just a little further to the south in the Gulf over those open waters, it would have had a better chance, but it just sort of hugged the coastline there, a little too much interaction with land. That pattern, though, of what we saw this past week is something to keep in mind because in about a week from now, I think we're going to kind of be doing that same thing again. Who knows how it will actually turn out, but it's sort of what the models are sort of hinting at, sort of a similar setup that is expected. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. As I mentioned, today is Saturday, a little bit after 4 p.m., and the National Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on an area that it's sort of just eh, keeping an eye on right now. They're not overly excited about it as far as its potential for development. And it's kind of in this cluster of storms. Notice as you look here uh, from Africa, this is way out in the Atlantic, so just so we're clear. Here's Africa, South America, just this sort of long line of just unsettled weather with these showers and storms, really lacking any sort of focus to really get organized. but sort of in the midst of all this, there's a little bit of opportunity that with some time might try to develop into something that could be considered tropical. So as always, those folks at the National Hurricane Center are doing a fantastic job. And you know, if this can get moving just a little bit further to the north in this yellow shading here, over a seven day period, about a 20% chance that something might develop. So pretty slim right now, but this is kind of where the focus is. Now I mentioned how that pattern that we saw last week is going to be something that we're seeing again this week. And that general idea is that we'll have high pressure over the southeastern portions of the U.S. And in last week's case, there was kind of an old frontal boundary that helped kind of get things going. But in this case, we're mostly looking at this high pressure ridge, and that's going to make a very hot week for us coming up. But at the end of that, so we're talking towards next weekend, uh, at the end of the week, we'll be watching as as there's just going to be some disturbed weather kind of rolling around at the moment. Again, it really looks to be confined right along where the coast is. So let me switch to one of our computer models, a future cast that kind of give you an idea a little bit about what I'm talking about. Notice our wind arrows here showing that clockwise rotation. So these winds are showing that ridge of high pressure. So as we get to the end of the weekend, it's way down in this in the Florida region, south, south, very eastern southeast part of the US, and it's slowly going to work its way sort of back up to the north a little bit. Again, it's a broad area. It really is going to keep things very dry for some of us. But as we start getting a little further along, you'll notice that disturbed weather that's sort of on the edges of that high pressure, and it's just kind of going to flow around a little bit. And here's what we're talking about. Look at this rain that's sort of popping up in the New Orleans area. And again, this is pretty far out to be getting try to get any kind of specifics on what we're looking for. But when we get into Wednesday, we see all of this unsettled weather all around the edges of this high pressure, and we're going to kind of keep that here in place. Now it would need to be some other things kind of working together to actually get something tropical formed. But that, again, that's just sort of a pattern that we're going to be watching for. It still is something that is just something of interest. We'll keep you noted as we move along. As we as we mentioned, we're not able to we were, were not able to get any sort of a tropical system out of last week. So we're still looking for that D name to be the next name storm. And just as a reminder uh, on the names, in case you have forgotten how it works, there is six lists of names 
and they're rotated every six years. So this is the same list of names that was used in 2019. So if you're thinking, I, I know we had a Barry before this year. Well, you're right. In 2019, there was a Barry. There was a Chantal. There was an Umberto. It's been around for a while. It, Umberto was around 12 years, 18 years. You see how it works every six years. The exception being if a storm is particularly deadly or destructive, then they retire that name. And that's what happened to 2019. If you'll remember the name Dorian, Hurricane Dorian, mostly really tore up the Bahamas. That's where it did most of its destruction uh, and was deadly. It did make landfall in the southeastern portions of the U.S., but it was really what it did in the Bahamas that that earned its its uh, reputation and, and reason for retiring it. So all that to say new name this year. First time we've seen Dexter on the list because Dorian was retired from the 2019 season. This is the time of year when the activity starts to ramp up a little bit. We get through July in the teens and we start getting into the 20s and then that's when things start to ramp up for sure. When we get to August 1st, we'll be expecting some of our activity to pick up a little bit. And yes, we're here every day of hurricane season, so I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back on Monday and I hope to see you then.